It's summer in the Okanagan, and it's hot, and it's dry, and it's expected to get hotter and drier. There are already some water restrictions in place, and there are concerns about our water supplies. So we took to the streets to see what the average person is doing to cut back on their water usage. Oh, definitely a concern. Yeah. Do I cut back on water? I do. I uh, try and do full loads of laundry. Just do dishes once a day, hand washing them. To conserve water, well, I don't have grass. <laughs> So, don't we, we water. conserve water fairly well to begin yeah. with? I think we're very conscious of that. So I don't think we're doing anything different, really. So, uh, what, what sort of things are you doing? Uh, low maintenance uh, civic, I'm uh, not civic culture. Zero low scale. maintenance, yeah, zero scaping. Yeah. Uh, all the plants that we have in our yard don't require the watering mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Yeah. BC Hydro likes to go to the schools now and I feel like what they're doing is they're encouraging children to be more water conservative when they shower or you know use less water when you brush your teeth like turn the taps off before you need to rinse your mouth out stuff like that I feel like that helps you know and uh, showering I feel like you use less water too and you, if you're rather than having a bath you know, so maybe replacing your shower nozzles so that they use less of the pressure of the water and don't shoot out super fast. I think that helps. Yeah. I don't uh, I don't do anything to conserve water, unfortunately. Maybe I should start. Um, well, at our business, we're one of the business owners in downtown Vernon. Uh, and so we turn off our irrigation in the summer. We've got lots of established plants. Uh, so we try to be pretty water conscious that way. Um, and at home, we do um, automatic watering. Uh, we water out of the peak times of the day um, and do hand watering where we can. And uh, yeah, that's probably it. Every little bit helps. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hanchu in Vernon.